Have you ever been in that situation before? <laughs> Alright, don't worry. Now let's see the good news. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I'm Amira Nabila binti Yahayil, for a student from School of Physics, majoring in Medical Physics in University Science Malaysia. So in today's video, I will share with all of you about infrared wireless communication. So let's get started. Have you ever heard about infrared wireless communication before? So, infrared wireless communication, also known as infrared Wi-Fi, is a wireless technology in device or system that convey data through infrared radiation. Remember back in early 2000s when it is seemed miraculous just to be able to sit on your living room couch and connect your laptop to the internet without having to plug in cable? These days, Wi-Fi is just another technology that we take for granted and complain about it. Uh -oh. After all, it never seems to be quite fast enough to keep video games from lagging or streaming movies from freezing up right before a climatic sense. Thanks to the increasing number of data-hungry devices that compete for bandwidth on our networks. Fortunately, yes, researchers in the Netherlands have come up with a way to relieve our frustration. They have developed an experimental wireless network that utilized beams of infrared light instead of radio waves to transmit data. So, in the lab, researcher Joanne O oh managed to achieve a speed of 42.8 gigabytes per second, which is many times faster than what you get today with radio based Wi Fi. And better yet, devices do not have to compete for bandwidth anymore. So, how does it work? Fiber optic cable would supply internet connectivity to an array of infrared light radiating antennas mounted on the ceiling of a room, which would service as access points. The antennas would contain a pair of passive diffraction gratings, basically groove surface that radiate light beams of different wavelengths at different angles. An antenna would send data to your tablet or smartphone. If you were to move around the room and something block the sideline between your device and the antenna, another antenna takes over the connection. The infrared light from the antennas is at a much higher frequency than the radio waves that conventional Wi-Fi providers use, which enable it to transmit a lot of more data. The system could transmit the equivalent of an entire DVD length movie in about one second. It is so much better because the system would assign each device its own frequency. Other users in the space could download a movie or any other things into their individual devices at the same time without any losing of speed. But unlike radio waves, infrared light cannot pass through walls. That means that unlike wireless networks, the various rooms in a house will each have to be wired to have internet access. On the plus side, that also might make an infrared based home network more secure from hackers. Now we can see here that infrared light could make Wi Fi send data 
hundred times faster than conventional radio wave Wi-Fi due to its higher frequency compared to radio waves. It also works very well over a short distance and more secure from hackers. That means we can feel much more safer regarding our personal data and information. As for the disadvantages, the system works only up to limited and short range. Thus, its performance drops off with longer distance. Next, its frequencies are easily affected by hard objects like walls as infrared light cannot pass through hard objects. That's all from me. Thank you.